All right, so I just died during my prep uh, to make the move. So when I respawn, I should respawn next to all the materials that I made, and I'll just show you a little bit of what I've done. All right, so I'm right here in base. Uh, don't need that. This is the stuff we're going to basically be ferrying back and forth, these three cards. Um, we're going to try and move them all up to our spot that we're going to be at permanently. These are the tools we didn't really need to bring, um, most of which we either don't need because we have all the tools or uh, are fairly easy to make given the stuff that we have already. But yeah, we're leaving our farm here. Uh, made another set of tools for this base. Every everything's pretty much left here, so it's self-sustaining. Um, but we're gonna go look for another um, another okay biome. Like the th the trick with when you have all your tools is you don't really need water because you can build wells and like. That's pretty much plenty of water as long as you don't dry them out. Um, primarily going to be looking for uh, probably a stone biome and a marsh biome. Even though we don't need water, we do need clay. Now that I think about it, if I'm going to show you guys building. But uh, we're going to take our food up first. <laughs> so you just want to pick a direction and go said direction. So we're going to go north. I like to go north or south. I feel like it's easier, you can just hold click. But I'll probably speed this up for you guys. Okay, I actually like this spot. Um, <laughs> I wasn't originally going to choose it, but uh, I figured why the hell not. We've got a nice open area with not many tile blockers over here that we can build. So we're going to set up right up here. I'm going to set this down. I'm actually going to set this down directly where we came up so I don't lose track of where we were. So, right there. And now we're gonna go ferry the rest of our stuff up. So I'm gonna speed it up again for you guys so you don't have to listen to me talk through all this. reason why I'm going back down is because I, uh, I actually made some adobe just to give us a little bit of a head start. And I figured I might as well grab a uh, round rock and a skewer to set my home spot. Just to make sure I don't lose uh, track of where I'm at. Alright, so we have all the materials up here. Um, I'm wanting to build over here where this nice open area is, most likely. I'm gonna chop down that tree. I'm gonna go ahead and put my home marker over here. I 
shouldn't have to go back down to the southern base, but you just have to remember, we'll go south from where all of those clay pits are. We'll build something there later. To basically not lose our way. Color Adobe. Our tools. A little bit more tools. And now what I need to do is I need to uh, empty out one of these because first and foremost, even when you're making an outpost and you have food, would be to make um, a farm. So that's our first thing to do. I'm gonna find and grab a stone somewhere. Find a uh, large rock, that'd be great. Maybe I can find one over here. Hey, look, snow biome. Alright. Now we're gonna make some baskets. I hate to use my, uh, my baskets that I brought, but if I have to, I have to. All we need is four, so we can actually. Get a fair amount of soil in one go. And I might actually, uh... Yeah, as soon as I finish this, I'm gonna do what I usually do around the area that I, uh... Around the area that I choose. I need a clear, which would be clear-cut the crap out of it. So cut down any unimportant trees. Like, all this. Very hard to see anything in, but if you chop it all down, it makes it a hell of a lot easier to work with. Alright, one more basket. Four baskets. I'm gonna go up there and grab my axe and start going to going to work on this. I don't want to mix it all up. There we go. All right. So cypress trees are basically worthless right now. Up all these down. Pine trees are a little bit uh, okay, but all they're good for is pine walls, um, and pine walls are extremely expensive, so we're not really going to do that right now. I'll show you how to make one. I'm gonna be making pine door. I'll leave that pine tree just for shits and giggles. So yeah, we're just gonna be clear cutting right now. Make it easier to navigate our little area. You could chop down yews, but sometimes they're good for uh, a leaf. This area is the one that's gonna be, wow. Now we're having to path all the way around stuff. And we could go and dig up, uh, dig up all these Dig up all these stumps. Takes some time, but makes it to where we don't have to run around all this path all around it. We'll do that at some point, but not right off the bat. We still need to get our farm in order. This is what you would do to those if you want to make 
the space completely clear. You grab your shovel. You're gonna have to move the stuff off. Then you dig it up. There's nothing you can do with the stumps other than chop it up into firewood or kindling, I mean. Set our sharp stone down. Go ahead and get out a basket of, or a, yeah, basket of pie. I'm gonna wait until our food gets pretty low before we use it. Pie does fill up a lot of health, or a lot of uh, food bars. So we don't want to misuse it. See how far this uh, this uh, rock biome is. Looks to be pretty large. That's yeah, pretty substantial. Great for building a huge base. Um, the only bad thing is this fire making. It's gonna be kind of a chore because we have to walk over to that grass biome. But as long as you keep your fire going, it's not that much of an issue. Um, we'll put our farm out here in the marsh. I'm gonna make sure I don't place it anywhere where I can't dig up any tile blockers. All this stuff can be dug up. The lakes cannot. And the reeds cannot, but all the rest of the stuff can be dug up. I'm gonna go ahead and just do it right here. That way, if we need to expand, we can. making a little farm like we did south. It's just me right now, so I don't need anything huge. The seals keep scaring me because I think it's a freaking bear. There's a lot of clay in this, uh, this grass biome. There we go. But yeah, like I said, farming... Basically your number one priority, even when you have everything. You still need to have farming your number one priority. I'm gonna do what we did last time, which is the um, nine food rows and one seed row. weed farm that we have to do next. I say have to, but you don't really have to, but it's better to. Like I said, milkweed is one of the largest bottlenecks in this game. Alright, so we're gonna put our seed row down here. We can dig this up later. And... Where will we plant our milkweed farm? Kinda wanna plant it over here. I might just plant it down here. Alright, we're getting kinda low on food. And I'm going to speed this up, uh, the whole soil running back and forth, just so you guys don't have to wait through it all.
All right, I figure I'll probably cut it back in here. Um, I've got the milkweed going. Um, this will be used for berries. Um, I don't need to do that yet. Seeding rows going, which will reseed all this. And now I might as well, I need to make my mallet. Um, I also need to make some steaks. So to these down and we are going to go get some butt logs for my mallet and can I grab actually I'll just need I just need one butt log for my mallet I'll just drop it off and then I'll grab some uh Long straight branches. All right. I'm getting old. There we go. Got my mallet. I'm gonna go snag some long straight branches. All right. So we are going to shave these down all the way until they are stakes. You don't have to have so many steaks. I mean, you do get them, like you get them back after you, uh, after you place them down. Um, it's just easier to be able to lay something out if you have multiples. All right, where do we want our base? That is the question. Now, something that I've learned from this is you want to make your floors first. Um, because sometimes they do like something weird where they don't like to connect. So we're gonna lay basically the interior out of our base first. So let's see, build it like there to there. This is basically just going to be for furnace and um, not major storage, but minor storage. Floors out first. So you want to hammer these to where it says floor stakes. Now we just have to make a crap load of floors. Luckily, we have all the tools that are required for it. I'm gonna grab an empty one of these. I'm going to go ahead and my tools I'm going to need to make floors over here. And now we're going to go snag a bunch of butt logs. Alright, go ahead and make this into floorboards. We're probably going to have to go check our carrot soon. Because we need to reseed it all. And get it to where we're not just relying on, uh, on our pies that we brought.
Alright, so now we've got some floorboards. We're gonna place them down. You'll get your, um... When you place down floorboards, you get your stakes back into your hand. So we'll just place them down where we're going to use them next. That way it makes it easier for our next steps. They're already there, then we can just grab our rock. Hammer it out to floor stakes again. Once again, I'll probably speed up this process since it's literally just the same thing until we have a border of floors around the whole outside. We uh, have that, and we're out of butt logs. I'm gonna go ahead and check our carrots. They have seeded, which is good. Go ahead and seed all of this. I wish I would have brought some more baskets, but once we start using up our um, our adobe that I brought, we'll have a couple baskets. Go ahead and that. And then we are going to make our seed row. I'm actually going to move my seed row down one more. And we got a free basket, so we'll just stick it right there. Alright, so let's grab some more butt logs. And keep going on our floor. At this point, you might want to decide where you're going to plan on putting doors. Um, because you're going to want to lay a floorboard down wherever you're putting your door. So, I'm putting door here. And I'm going to put a door on the opposite side as well. It's always good to have at least two entrances. It makes it harder to be griefed. And I realized that I've been misusing my pies. Um, the only reason why I've been doing that is because um, I'm too lazy to go go grow carrots. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna have a door there. Let's make sure this is going to lay down how I expect it to. Yeah, so there's my north-south wall stakes. I'm gonna go ahead and lay another one down right here, just in case. Uh, well, we'll wait on it, we'll wait on it. This should be okay. Now, if you ever want to dig up stakes, look, say you place them down and you don't want them there, all you need is your sharp stone to dig up your stakes. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. There you go. That's how you dig up stakes. So we're gonna start on our walls. We're actually going to probably build our corners first. Um, just uh, this is an experiment on, me, on my part as well. Um, I I've had multiple cases where sometimes the, when I build the if I build the corner after I build the wall, it does not connect. So. We'll see with this one. A lot of times I just don't pay attention because I've built so many of these. We're gonna go ahead and build a corner there. Build a corner there. And it's usually the southern ones that don't do it. So if you place it up higher, the wall would go underneath the corner. Right. Plate. 
grab out another pie. We're gonna have to start growing carrots very, very soon. Ooh, we don't even have our, uh, our sound cue anymore when we're low on food. So we're probably gonna have to continue this in the next life, but I'm gonna go ahead and build our adobe wall. Or our adobe corner. <laughs> out of the way and this should connect when I put this wall down the floor should connect to it like so now if we put the other one down this is where the the will it do it uh, comes into play now it should but we'll see no you see how it didn't connect so we're gonna have to build these up to double walls to kind of hide the fact that our our floor didn't connect I guess we could have put a corner right there on that corner. And we died of old age. Um, we could have put a corner on that corner. Um, and then maybe it would have connected um, to try it on the next one we build. But I don't do, like I do a fair amount of building, but usually when I build, I'm building it very rapidly. So I don't pay that much attention to it as long as it <laughs> serves its function usually I'm okay with it but we can hide those little imperfections pretty easily so this should connect unless I'm crazy now let's see up here if this will connect this one's gonna be right on the border so it should connect so maybe that is what I did wrong maybe I should build it one closer. If we had another person, I could show you how to demo walls. I think it's actually possible to demo walls with one person. Um, it's just significantly harder. Let's see, so if I put this... See, there's our tile, that's the issue. I think you basically have to put your corner... I don't know. It's it's a weird one. Building this game sometimes has its has its wonky quirks. All right, we're gonna go ahead and finish this side first before we go and start getting some more Adobe. So there's that, and then our next one should go right here. That's going to be our doorway. And we're going to hammer this in and then grab some more adobe. Place this last one down. Just to get it ready for when we uh, start over again. So one entire thing full of adobe got us about halfway of a half-built building. So it's going to take about four crates of these to finish the whole thing. Um, I'm probably going to speed this up because Adobe is one of those things that sometimes takes a while. So first we're going to do our carrots, actually, now that I think about it. Um, that way we don't starve to death. gonna run and get some water all right I'm probably gonna speed all of this up uh, watering our carrots harvesting our carrots and uh, grabbing all the adobe for the rest of the building all right we've got our adobe and we're gonna keep building 
where this basket gets us. Uh, put our uh, round stone. There it is. getting us pretty far. So hopefully by the end of this basket, or by the end of this uh, wheelbarrow, we'll have a half-finished building. And then I'm going to get one more load, make sure this doesn't look like total crap, like it does right now. Go ahead and set this in our doorway. Set that one in our doorway. Set these out here for future floors. Go ahead and make these into doorway things. And once we do this, I'll probably go ahead and show you guys how to make doors. Lay down. Come on, put the rock in your backpack. Alright, I'm gonna go on one more Adobe run. And I'll meet you guys back here. Ooh, actually, we need to pick our carrots. Almost forgot about them, that's... That's no bueno. get another creative adobe and we're going to fix this nonsense so easy way to hide your mistakes is just to uh, build it up so now you can't tell that uh, that there's no floor connecting no one will ever know not a soul you can't change the camera angle yet who are pillars pillars always look better when they are uh, upgraded and we'll do a little bit of this back wall While, uh, while I was running around getting um, Adobe. So, we've got carrots now. Alright, straight branches. So technically it takes five straight branches to make a door, because you have to make one into a short shaft. But... For. I suppose we could have brought a rock and actually shaved one down into a short shaft. If 
we can find one along the way, I might just do that. Actually. There we go. Because I can backpack a short shaft. Um, I can find another. There we go. So pine just requires a crazy amount of ropes. Like per wall. It's pretty insane. Like you'll see. Backpack the shaft. There we go. And we're off. I forgot to redo my home marker, but I've got an okay sense of direction in this game. Also brought some ropes from south, but I think only brought like three. And then um, eat a bit of our pie. All right, short shafting it up or uh, long shafting it up, whatever. All right, got some ropes here. So what you're gonna first use is use a rope on them to tie these. Go ahead and take our hammer out. Put some carrots in this thing. And here's three more ropes. So we might have enough rope to do one door. And we're gonna have to go pick all our uh, milkweed. All right, now you've got tied long shafts. You just put them together. This would be the same process as just making a wall or a uh, pine wall. So there you have it. You get your ropes. Now you need pine needles. It's just the thing I said that pine trees are only good for is the pine needles. There you go. Now you have a pine panel, which when you place on these stakes makes a pine wall. But we don't want that. We want a door. So we have our short shaft here. And now you have a door. And that's how easy it is to make doors. Now the whole reason why we put that floor down there is because if you put the door in, it would not connect. So you'd have to have a floor underneath it. But if you wanted to make a path leading out of your base or not just have that an empty spot. Nope, we're gonna make one more. So I'm gonna speed up the process of uh, going and getting more um, straight branches. It's like our seeds are ready too. All right, so we got our straight shafts again. Need our sharp rock. Had to drop our old one out in the wilderness to carry stuff. I ended up getting a rope. And now we are probably going to have to pick some more, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to pick some uh, milkweed down here. Let's get some rope going. Hopefully they don't change on me at the last second. Apparently someone wants to call me. One sec. Oh, 
All right, sorry about that, guys. I had a really important phone call. All right, so we got another door done. And now we are working on our, uh, probably our floor, just to finish it, like, just to basically finish this building out. Honestly, I'm going to probably just finish out this building, uh, wrap it up by putting some uh, a furnace in it, and like that'll be that with this video, because this is mainly just like a building video. Maybe I'll kill a bear for the bearskin rug to put in it, but we'll see. So we're just going to finish off this, uh, this uh, floor. By the way, I'd like some opinions on something, whether or not I should cut the video or speed it up. I'm gonna, in this whole thing, I'm gonna have like instances of both. Like I'm going to have some where I cut it and others where I just fast forward it. Um, you guys tell me what you think is better. Like I know this game is very, uh, like, there's little things you can do while you're out and like harvesting stuff while you're out or making tools on the fly and you can see all that with speeding it up but not with clipping um and when you clip sometimes it can look like you're you know maybe not on an official server and spawning shit in and that's not the case um i don't know just let me know your opinions on it whether or not i should uh just flip it or fast forward it. All right, so just a little bit more butt logs. Probably gonna need a whole nother thing of Adobe, which is gonna suck. Because getting Adobe is a pain in the butt, especially now that I've used up a lot of the reeds in the area. Oh, there are still maybe they've grown back in the amount of time that was on the phone. Who knows? All right. Go ahead and make some floorboards. Sticks down in the right uh, configuration. There we go. I think I might have enough floor. If 
not. It's gonna be close, and I don't feel like counting. Cook. See, we have three left. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oops. You almost were there. There we go. Little bit of lag there. There we go. Floor's all done. Let's go and set my stakes out here just to get them out of the way. Leave the round rock in there because we're going to be making forge and furnaces and stuff. Um, let's see if we can find where we put down all our baskets. There they all are. And now we're doing another adobe run. So. I'll either clip it or speed it up. So, we got some more adobe. Now we can finish off our, uh, finish off this back wall so it doesn't look so trashy. Now we finished that. I'm just gonna go ahead and get everything ready for the interior. So, have over here. This would be for like a more advanced base, because like it's going to be able to be expanded. So, this will end up being our forge. These three can all be kilns. see where we're going for. Um, I already showed you how to build kilns and uh, kilns and forges step by step. So yeah, you can put storage down here. Um, and then all this area can be where you store your tools and or everything you need while you're smithing. Because smithing is like, very labor intensive. All right, we're going to grab a bow and arrow. Or we're going to Go make a bow and arrow, I guess you could say. Um, that's not what we needed. There we go. Get a U branch. Go ahead and make this into. If I can put this uh, U branch down. There we go. Make that into some string. Look at that. Like the game wanted us to make a piece of rope. Maybe they want us to hang ourselves, that's nice. All right. <laughs> Got yourself a bow. Now, all we need is some arrows. Uh, I'd like to get at least three. All right, so. Mm. Where'd I put my, uh, there it is, sharp rock. I'm gonna go grab some skewers. There's one. Let's see if we can find some more. Ooh, that's a wolf. There's one. And there's another. I can cut it. There we go. Alright. I have to carry a rock back since I'm, it's her only one right now. that our milkweed, I can't remember if I've been through a lifetime or not, if our milkweed's, nope, it is not regrown. We have some string here, but we are going to tie 
Yes, so we need two more pieces of string. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take a wheelbarrow. Grab a carrot to take with me. And pop one. Because we also need three of these. And we're gonna need three flint. We should find that in our rock biome. But... Gooses, gooses galore. Honk, honk. You need a goose feather to make fletching. I think I showed that in the last video, but I'm not 100% sure. It would, it would have been really fast if I did. Yeah, I made it to, to killing goose, actually, now that I mention it. Come on, fruit already. We need string. That one's still in its regular stage. Pop some of these. Oh, stomach's really small now. If I die, I die. That's life. And add our tips. There you have it. Got your arrows. Go ahead and grab us some carrots. Oh, we don't have enough life left in this lifetime to um go kill the bear but um Boom. I will in the next so oh, oh sorry scratch <laughs> we're just gonna wait out death right here all right we died of old age Gonna get reborn. Alright, we're here. I have a backpack full of arrows. Alright. Go kill this bear. 
Boom. I know there's one up here. Um, I kind of want to make one of, like this one right here. I'm probably just going to build a wall around it and despawn it, make it into a little pet. But I know there was another one over here. Here it is. him to run towards us like that and ooh. and when he stops moving is when you shoot him um so we're gonna bait him out again get him to run towards us and then shoot him you always want to use left click when you go to shoot him so we're gonna bait him out again and then shoot him. And that should be it. Yep, he's dead. <coughs> Killing bears is pretty easy. Um, we need a flint ship. <coughs> now we have our bear skin. And that's all you need to do. Bear skin rug. Boom. As you can see, it provides, if you look at your temperature meter down the bottom, it just provides a little bit more warmth. You can see there's a big difference between inside and outside as well. But yeah, that's that's basically it. I figured I might as well have that, I guess, be the end. Can't do anything with the skin bears right now. Hopefully they'll add something where you can cook them later. But that's like a little demo to base building. Um, then you can just finish these off, make one into a uh, forge, have the rest of them for uh, for making charcoal, and then you can put storage or whatever you want in. But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So I'm probably just gonna cut the video here. See you guys later.